Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another vlog. Today is Monday. I am still recovering from a long, eventful birthday week. Family has gone back home. Everyone made it home safe. I like exhausted. Yesterday, I did absolutely nothing. I did not leave the house yesterday because I was just so tired. Being an introvert and having to entertain it was my family, so it wasn't that difficult. Being out late, being out all day, ripping and running, here, there, everywhere, the food. I am literally hitting the reset button today. I'm so happy I got my workout tonight. So that's on the list. I'm doing laundry right now. <laughs> Today, I am going to just kind of continue to relax, but I got a bunch of stuff I got to do. I got packages downstairs I got to go pick up that have been sitting. I got emails I got to reply to. I've got work that I need to be getting prepared for for April because we're in April now. All right, y'all, so I'm getting ready to eat a little breakfast. It's 11.46, PJ is down for his nap. Making some veggie sausage by Morningstar. I picked this up last week and they're actually really good. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm making. So I'm gonna wash these few dishes in the sink that did not make it to the dishwasher last night. Picked up this new Dawn gentle clean easy squeeze i literally only bought it because i saw the commercial and the commercial made it look cool but this smells so good it comes in like several different scents this is the pomegranate and rose water scent if you are someone who wash your dishes by hand which i don't typically wash my dishes by hands to be honest i been washing dishes by hand all my life if you load your dishwasher properly and if you use the proper dishwashing liquids and pods your dishes will be clean however i do have to wash some dishes by hand like what i have in here i do wash my pans by hand and i do wash like little random bowls and stuff like after breakfast just to keep the sink clean throughout the day and I really like this. It smells so good and it's so convenient. Like, I'm gonna just use this. So this bowl I'm about to wash. And all you do is just, and that's it. You don't have to like flip a top like it says on here. No flip, no mess. So cool and it smells so good. So yeah, I've been having fun washing dishes because of this dish soap. And I like that it's pink, it's so pretty. And I have it up here next to my flowers, my brother got these flowers for me for my birthday so pretty and so i have the dish soap just sitting up there which i don't typically have my dish soap sitting on the counter i usually put it underneath this is what i usually use and i still will use this because it's spring and the flowers it just looks cute up here right now so i'm just gonna leave it there that's what i'm gonna do and then i'm gonna turn on love is blind because some new episodes just popped up on netflix and I'm already annoyed. I'm already annoyed, but I'm not going to get into it just in case you guys don't watch Love is Blind. But I am a Love is Blind fan and it's been an interesting, interesting season to say the least. I have to remind myself that these are like 20 something year olds and just some of the things that I'm noticing. I'm just like, ugh. But yeah, I'm gonna watch that. I got a few other shows that I need to get caught up on because I didn't watch no TV last week, like none. She wakes up we might go for a walk actually because the sun just came out i want to go to zara so we may take a little walk down to zara maybe go on h m too so yeah we'll see but for now um i'm gonna eat my breakfast clean up the kitchen a little bit and i'll check back in with you guys later oh also you can see my little birthday cards there so cute getting ready I'm wearing all Yvette Sport, of course. Yvette Sports leggings, sports bra, and tank. I like this tank because it has like the little cutout in the back. I have this in two colors. This color in gray. And it's just like this. Very cute. 
cute and you can kind of see the event sport there and this is a high impact bra so yeah I'm just getting ready to pull my hair up where do all the scrunchies go? I don't know. I'm wearing this hair tie because I can't find my black ones anywhere. I'm gonna do a loose little pony. Just wearing my cap to keep my wrap in place. I may have to, I don't know. My ponytail may survive through. No, I ain't gonna even play myself like that. I was gonna just leave it like loose like that through the little hole. But let me just go ahead and tie it up. Yeah, so that's my little method when I don't want to wrap my hair, but I still, you know, just want it to be look good. I have my watch. Also, make sure I ate because I have put myself on like a cutoff eating time. Like I'm not eating after eight o'clock, which I don't eat after eight o'clock anyway, but because this class so late, class starts at seven. I don't get back here until like 7.45. Like I'm just, that's just too late for me to be eating something. So I ate taco salad because we had tacos. So I made a salad that should hold me. Cause I did Google like what to eat before a hit. And they said like high protein. So I did that with some ground turkey. And that was it. I'm gonna wear my on shoes, which I get asked a lot about these shoes when you guys see them in my videos. I absolutely love them. I will link the ones that I have below. These are the Swiss Swiss engineering ones. Love these shoes. They are so popular too. Like I didn't realize when I got them, I didn't get them because they were popular. Yeah, I will link them for you. I do recommend going into the store and trying them on because originally I thought I needed a eight and I ended up needing an eight and a half. So I did go in the store, but you can get them online as well. I love that they have like a wide toe box. So it gives you a lot of room. It's super comfortable. These are the best. So if you see tons and tons of people wearing them, it's for a reason. A lot of doctors wear them, nurses. They're just a really good, comfortable tennis shoe. And they come in so many different like colorways. Like you can get them in so many different colors. I just prefer the black on black. And I get a lot of compliments on the black on black. Like I would never compliment somebody on these shoes, but now that I have them, I get it. And so I get why people compliment them, like compliment me when they see me wearing them. Um, plus I kind of wear them more stylish, I guess. Like I wear them like as an outfit, not like always to work out. So love them. 10 out of 10, highly recommend. don't need a jacket because I'm not going outside I'm in the building so yeah I'm gonna go and I'll see you guys at the gym all right So it is actually the next day. So after my workout yesterday, I came back, showered and relaxed for the rest of the evening, which is why I didn't come back. But um, workout was really good. We have a new instructor now. We have a lady instructor. My old instructor got a new job somewhere else. So yay for him i did message him and wish him well and congratulated him but she is really good the new lady she's a little feisty but i like that she's really fit she actually like her body type reminds me of heather robertson while we were working out every time i would look at her i would think of heather i really really like her her workout was great it was really intense and hardcore so i'm looking forward to working out with her for the remainder of the time because she says she is permanently replacing the old instructor so 
and she seems like you know legit and there were more people in the class today there were there were like five of us in class so that was nice i came on because i received a package in the mail and i wanted to share it with you guys so i got a package from dossier so dossier just released their dossier original fragrance i am so excited they came out with three different fragrances i talk about dossier fragrances all the time you probably can't see but i have about six of them right here on my little perfume rack so if you're not familiar with dossier they are a fragrance house the fragrances are inspired by higher end fragrances same notes literally smell the exact same the only difference is dossier does not do the fancy packaging however their packaging is very nice and minimal and sleek which i actually love and all of their ingredients are clean so cruelty free vegan non-toxic other thing i love about dossier is if you do purchase fragrances from them and you do not like them you can return them and they will give you a full refund so you're not stuck with the fragrance by any means prices range anywhere from 29 to like 40 dollars so like i said they just released their own fragrances so these fragrances are not inspired by any high-end fragrances these are all dossier originals I have not smelled any of them I literally just opened the box and I saw what it was and I was like I gotta share this so we're gonna try these out together and see which ones we like like I said they came out with three different fragrances so first one as you can see here, if you've ever purchased from Dossier, you know that their boxes usually come in like this, like tan color, but they changed the packaging for the Dossier Original. And you can see there it says Dossier Original. And when you open it, it says Dossier Originals Unique Blends Happy Sniffing. And then, like always, you get the card with all of the notes. So on the card, this is called Sunny Vitiver and Neroli. I think I'm saying that right. This is described as a woody, as woody and floral. Top notes are bergamot, grapefruit, neroli. Middle notes are orange blossom, geranium, and elami. The base notes are Haitian vitiver, patchouli, and cedarwood. This sounds really good. Like a lot of those notes are some of my favorites. So here's the packaging, just like the other packaging. However, it does say Dossier Original down at the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let's test it out. I'm just gonna spray it on the little card here. Very woody. <laughs> smell the bergamot oh the floral okay so this is a really really nice floral fragrance if you are into florals if you like floral woody scents you'll like this which I personally like I'm not someone that really gravitates towards more masculine scents however I am a floral, sweet, and fruity girl with a hint of Woody's. So if you look at like my fragrance collection, most of them are like florally, like soft, you know, fruity scents with just a hint of like woods or bergamot. But this smells really good. It smells like this is gonna last like a long time. You know how you could just smell a fragrance and you just know like this is gonna have longevity. So yeah, I'm interested in trying this out. I feel like this would be a nice little spring scent. It's very date night, night fragrance in my opinion, the more I smell it. I probably wouldn't wear this during the day. This is definitely a night, like evening scent. So, okay, I like this one, Sunny Vitiver and Neroli. All right, moving on to the second one. This is a fiery leather and rhubarb. This is in the ambery and green family. Top notes are rhubarb, nutmeg, melon. Middle notes, geranium, rose, saffron. And base notes, vegan black leather and vetiver. Hmm, that sounds masculine. <laughs> so let's give this a try. Okay. yeah <laughs> yeah so very leathery 
but it has like a softness to it it's not like overly masculine but that leather is really coming through like really coming through so I do like this scent however it's a little too masculine for my taste but it smells really good I don't know I'm gonna see if PK likes it if he likes it I'm gonna give it to him because it is very masculine if a woman wore it it would be like a nighttime scent I wouldn't wear this during the day definitely wouldn't wear it like in the office and I don't know what they've done to the original <laughs> dossier uh, formula but it's so strong these notes are just like jumping out but this smells good it's very interesting can't really describe it because all I smell is leather it smells like it's <laughs> it's so hard to describe like imagine walking into like a very like luxurious cigar lounge with like wealthy man who smell good and they're in there smoking their cigars and they're sitting on the leather sofas and like have a drink. I know that sounds crazy, but that's exactly how this smells. So I'm going to have PK try it and see if he likes it. If he likes it, I'll let him have it. But yeah, I kind of hope he likes it because it smells really good. I just wouldn't wear it on myself, but on a man fire all right and moving on to the last fragrance because <laughs> i spent way too much time on that one this one is caramelized lavender and hazelnut this is in the gourmand and aromatic family top notes salted caramelized hazelnut accord middle notes lavender violet orange flower base notes patchouli vetiver suede and ambroxan Ooh, smells good. Now this, this is for me. Caramelized lavender and hazelnut. Definitely a day scent. Very springy, summery. The lavender is really standing out. Also smell the salted caramelized scent. And it doesn't smell like, like sugar, but it does have a sweetness to it. Yeah, I like this one. This one is probably my favorite. So yeah, those are the fragrances that I wanted to share with you all from Dossier's new collection, Dossier's Original. If you guys want to check them out, I will have all of the information linked below with my discount code. Let me know if you all purchase any of the new scents and how you like them. I personally, like I said, the caramelized lavender hazelnut is definitely going to be my go-to for the spring and summer. So this will be going into to my spring summer collection with my other fragrances also don't forget to check out dossier's other fragrances that are inspired by higher end fragrances i promise you you will not be disappointed trust me if you just try out one fragrance you will not be disappointed and if you don't like it you can return it they'll give you your money back i guarantee you you'll love it plus you get some additional savings with using my discount code so again thank you to dossier for sponsoring this portion of this video i just got back up from the mail room i wanted to show you guys what i got for the boys Easter baskets because Easter is a Sunday. I went on Amazon and just picked a bunch of stuff for them. This isn't everything. I do know that I got a couple things for Seth that are arriving tomorrow, I believe. Um, but for the most part, this is it. I do have some other little like random things that I got from Target, but I won't show you guys that stuff. Let me wash my hands. First package. All right, so in this box, I got this potty book for PJ because we're about to start the potty training process. Not like hardcore, 
but we're going to start introducing him to the potty. I did order him a new potty, which that should be here today or tomorrow too. So that will be part of his Easter basket. <laughs> so we got that. Also got like a little egg carton with eggs in them, but it's kind of like the nesting, like nesting dolls with eggs. So just he can take them out, put them in. To work on his like fine motor skills, little things like this are really good for him to just sit and play with. So I got him that cute little wooden egg little set. And then I got him this our easy stick, easy detach coloring paper, but it's like in a roll. And so, you can just like roll it out on the like table or the counter or like his high chair and he can color like that without the paper like going everywhere. And just keeps it like clean. You can also put it on a wall, which we are not doing. Um, but I just thought something like this would be cute for him. So this is for Seth. Then. So I got Seth, I think this is his water bottle. This water bottle, um, Seth is a gamer. He loves his video games. And he's been asking for a new water bottle. So I found this one. It's a stainless steel water bottles with like little controllers all over it. And I just thought this was neat. I got this for him back in the box so he doesn't see it. But I just thought that was cute. Yeah, so these are egg crayons that I got for PJ and you get nine colors. So this kind of goes with this. And I wanted to get him the kind of crayons that are easy for him to like grip. Uh, so these say baby crayons. <laughs> show you guys how they look. So here's how they look. And they're like little eggs. So again, I just wanted to stay with the Easter theme, but also have things that are just practical that he can like just use mostly everything i ordered from amazon for pj came except one thing i did order him a new sippy cup here it is so i got pj a new cup and it's just the dr brown's cup but i got it for him in this like sage green he has cream he has black he has gray now he has the sage green and I just like that it kind of coordinated with the book and stuff. So I was trying to like buy things that kind of had the same like color scheme. So yeah, that's everything I got from Amazon for the boys for Easter, for their Easter baskets. I do have like little like candies and treats and all that stuff too that I got from Target. It's just put away because if it's out, Sefton will get, want to get a hold of it and he'll want to start eating it now. And that's what I wanted to show you guys. I'm still just kind of doing nothing. Yeah, for now, I'm still just maxing and relaxing. So I'm going to put this stuff up. I'm actually going to put it back in this box. Hide it away. One season thing. So crazy. Like Easter. Easter is literally like this week. It's crazy. But um yeah, I also got them little wooden eggs to paint for Easter because I don't think we know Easter eggs this year. And just because I just don't feel like it is necessary. My kids don't eat hard boiled eggs. And I know I could like do the like fake eggs, but I don't feel like doing that either. So we're gonna do that. So I got them like little wooden Easter eggs and they already have tons of paint. So that's gonna be their little Easter project. And that'll be that. So I'm gonna go, because I don't have nothing else to talk to y'all about. I'm thawing out my mangoes and raspberries right now for my afternoon snack probably will make me an iced coffee go pick up Seth
It is a much later in the day. I am going to make me some tea and relax. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.